Pete Buttigieg, the 38-year-old, who rose from mayor of a mid-sized Indiana city to a serious presidential contender, officially suspended his campaign on Monday evening. The truth is that the path has narrowed to a close. Buttigieg told a crowd in his hometown of Out Penn, Indiana, after an introduction by his husband Jason. We have a responsibility to consider the effect of remaining in this race any further. An openly gay Navy Reserve veteran, Buttigieg departs the Democratic race third in overall delegates, behind Vermont N. Bernie Anders and former Vice President Joe Biden. On Monday night, Buttigieg thanked supporters for the campaign they helped build, and said that effort to usher in a new generation of politics will continue. I firmly believe that in these years, in our time, we can and we will make American life and politics more like what it could be, not just more wise and more prosperous, but more equitable and more just and more decent," he said, as supporters cheered and chanted "Boot Edge Ega." Before Buttigieg took the stage, his husband, Jason, gave an emotional speech. Emphasizing the historic weight of the campaign and the significance of the first openly gay candidate to make a serious run at a major party's no nomination for president, his voice wavered at several points, and he paused to wipe tears. Life gave me some interesting experiences on my way to find Pete, he said. After falling in love with Pete, Pete got me to believe in myself again. And I told Pete to run because I knew there were other kids sitting out there in this country who needed to believe in themselves too. Buttigieg recognized that significance too. We sent a message to every kid out there wondering if whatever marks them out as different means they are somehow destined to be less than. To see that someone who once felt that exact same way can become a leading presidential candidate, with his husband at his side, he said. The announcement came a day after Buttigieg finished fourth in North Carolina's Democratic primer, why? The party's fourth nominating contest Buttigieg had finished in a virtual tie in Iowa's caucuses, then second in New Hampshire and third in Nevada. Iowa and New Hampshire are predominantly white states, but Buttigieg struggled to attract support in the more diverse states of Nevada and South Carolina. According to exit polls, he earned the backing of just 3% of African American voters in North Carolina. Black voters made up a majority of the Democratic electorate in today's primary. B. Otege spent the final day of his campaign meeting with former President Jimmy Carter in Georgia and then marching across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Elma, an annual commemoration of Bloody Monday. He said walking in the shadow of civil rights giants had him thinking about how the nation might now try to live up to their example. Buttigieg's departure could help boost Biden who has been competing for some of the same moderate voters and is trying to catch up to Anders, delegate lead on Uber Tuesday. The Anders campaign is pushing back on the idea that the shake-up hurt Sanders more than anyone else. 
His supporters are going to be more up for grabs, and as campaign manager, Fez Hakir, told NPR. I think people are far more complicated in their ideology than pundits like to suggest.